everyone, so as you can tell from the title of this video, we're going to be sharing with you guys what we bought ourselves for Christmas. People ask us pretty often around this time of year, since I started my channel, like what we want for Christmas and what we're asking for for Christmas. We don't have a family that exchanges gifts formally. We do have one relative who gets us each a Barbie every year and we absolutely adore that. It means the world to us. And we're definitely getting them this year, too. Cause he he didn't tell us what we're getting. They said we're getting some really good. Yeah, he really loves uh, watching us open them on Christmas. This year, because they ran a pretty decent Cyber Monday sale, everything on the website was 20% off, in addition to their new free shipping policy if you spend $125, which if you buy an American Girl, you know that's like really easy to spend $125. <laughs> We originally planned on Monday just to get Colleen Rebecca, who if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that that's a doll she's really wanted. And so she originally picked out these things in this box that you're about to see. But then we kind of thought it over and on Tuesday they extended the sale, so it was like Cyber Tuesday. And we ended up buying, buying things we wished we'd bought on Monday. Right, because we thought it would make more sense rather than trying to pick things off for Rebecca on eBay or wait for another sale because there were a few things that I really wanted. So I did get two outfits on the sale, but everything else was for Colleen and for Rebecca. And However, we also got um, two outfits from eBay um, that we'll show you that were for some of Shelly's dolls. Right. That wasn't really technically for Christmas, but... It but we thought we'd include yeah. it in this. I had this paper doll when I was, what, about 10? Um, it came with an American Girl magazine. Her name was Liana Katz, and she was like a contemporary character with a Jewish heritage. And I thought she was a really cool idea, and I wanted to make a full-scale doll. And I was always intrigued by Rebecca because, like Liana, She's a Jewish character, and I thought that was really exciting, um, but she's historical, which I thought was even cooler. And you used to try to convince me to get Rebecca, but I'm just not, like, super in love with her. And then when Be Forever came out and they changed the meat outfit, I started to really pay attention to Rebecca. And that's when I started being Shelly, we should get a Rebecca doll. Way back in summer 2015, we talked about getting Be Forever Addy, getting a Rebecca. That was all stuff we talked about back then. So obviously I've wanted, like, actually wanted Rebecca for like four years now. So it's been a long time. Yeah. Because I told her at some point, if we're getting Rebecca, she's going to be for you. <laughs> so this is oh, a big deal because really she only has Molly and Emily. She's not like really into the other characters for herself. So she gets to live vicariously through me. But one of the reasons I was so keen on getting a new B Forever Rebecca was because they changed up the meat accessories to be even cuter. And um, because they added the shawl, it really intrigued me because... Yeah, they added the shawl and the booklet. Oh, this hat's so nice! Sorry, I'm not like opening her stuff for her. No, you can't open whatever Sorry, you want. It's just uh, adjusting. Now people will get angry. Because apparently when we opened Melody, I hurt your feelings. <laughs> for the record, my feelings were not in any way hurt. <gasps> Look how pretty this hat really is. Nice. Feel that, feel that. That's the nicest American Girl hat I've yeah, ever Yeah, I know, and I mean, the list of the summer has really like, nice. It can't just be regular, like, board that they mm. put in there. It's It almost feels like metal, because it's got a lot of It's really solid, and, and that little flower is just darling. We'll show close-ups of everything. And I think the, um, the Be Forever, like, purple look is really good for her, because, you know, she's very flamboyant. She wants to be an actress. That looks nice. That looks it nice. actually is. It's heavier than I thought it would be. It's about the same as Josephine and yeah, uh, no, birthday show. Yeah, but it's nice that it's delicate because her original heirloom one was too heavy. That's nice. It's oh, cool. wow. So pretty. Yeah. Motion Picture Story Magazine. This must be an actress that Rebecca likes. On the front, Lillian Armstrong. Mm -hmm. Very cute. It's like a magazine. And look how beautiful this necklace is. Oh, that's cute. It kind of reminds me of your birthstone. Wow. Because you're the amethyst. It's wicked pretty. The only outfit that wasn't back ordered on Cyber Monday was this. Besides her winter coat. Yeah, is this um, movie premiere outfit. And it looks wicked nice in the pictures. <gasps> oh, it is. Yeah, this is oh. something they introduced uh, last year. Oh, look at the embroidery. That Check that amazing. out. That's gorgeous. Ooh, I'm a sucker for embroidery. It's lighter weight than I thought it would be and a little stiffer. But. Really oh nice. my god, these shoes are adorable. Nice. Um, I noticed that, like Grace, she's got a lot of the fleur de lis yeah. thing going on. And that also um, has in your book. <clears throat> I actually have a fleur de lis ne fleur de lis necklace 
from a similar outfit they used to make from her um, that we found at the flea market. And this is pretty bow. This was all we originally ordered, which is why other things, some of the other stuff is already here and some of it's on yeah, I figured out I didn't bore you with like us opening and reacting to everything. Oh! It's illustrated, which means it's probably slightly abridged, but that's okay. Were they abridging it? Or I heard they, they were abridging it when they had the illustrations. Oh, I'm not yeah, sure. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Mm. Abridged is like a Why swear word. Why would you abridge an already short book? I know. And this is um. Right here. Yeah. Getting Molly last year was like getting a brand new doll because obviously no one else had opened. Yeah, yet. I picked one that. Um. Picked so. Something stuck. Oh, is it her hands? I think her hands are both tabbed down. Her clip is um, really plain gold, which is nice because it'll match, a lot. it'll match like a lot of different things. Oh my god! Look at you! Nice to finally meet you. I was afraid she wouldn't come today and then I'd have to wait till Monday. You want me to take that? Yeah, I don't remember her hair. She's so pretty. Very nice right now. Oh wow! Seven bucks here. Um, oh, trying to angle her so I'd see her eyes. Oh my god, they're just like Isabelle's. The original Rebecca's had brighter uh, hazel eyes. Yeah, more like older Felicity's. I think in 2010 they switched over to like the Isabel Palmer eyes. And um, I like Isabelle's eyes better than Felicity's, um, which is another reason why I was hoping to get a beat for everyone, but I like. I was open to any Rebecca doll, and part of why I waited so long was I thought I might get one second hand and get lucky, but um, I'm really excited because like, if I was going to hand pick one, it would have been the be forever. Did you see how beautiful her jacket is? Yeah, I have seen her part. She's beautiful. Oh yeah, her outfit, I thought her outfit would be really nice. She's pretty. And you got a pretty symmetrical one, not that it would matter to you, but the only thing I'll say is like, this is like not okay here. <laughs> Yeah, she needs a good brushing, but um, she's beautiful. I'm actually going to put a clip in there just so we don't lose the hair clip. I'm so happy to finally have her. Um, I've wanted her a really, really long time. Well, I'm glad. So I feel like I'm the always one getting up, getting the goals. This is the second year in a row that around Christmas I'm getting someone new. I absolutely love her. I'm wicked excited. Um, part of why we wanted to order her this time of year was so she can be in our regular uh, holiday photo with the gingerbread house. I, I kind of egged her into um, getting her on sale. And I was gonna, I was thinking of doing it like sneakily, but because we had kind of already talked about it, it wouldn't have been that much of a surprise. And so that way I was able to run by her, like, oh, do you want to order the rest of her stuff um, that you wanted? You wanting a second day sale. And then the reason why I ended up getting two things is because uh, Colleen got everything they had available in terms of clothes for Rebecca and to get the free shipping with the discount, I was like, I put Melody's outfit in that I wanted, but I was like literally $2 shy of the free shipping and Colleen's like, oh, just get another outfit. So I, that's how I ended up with two outfits. Because um, if it had qualified for free shipping with just Rebecca's stuff, that's what we would have done. I wouldn't have gotten that. Well, actually, um, I would have actually went to the Melody outfit because okay. I love it. So we will check in with you guys. Um, when Some of her clothes are here already. Yeah, when we have everything. <clears throat> and um, I'll have like clips of the dolls wearing the stuff. And you can see like Rebecca up close then and all of her like little goodies. So everything has arrived in the mail. And obviously you know it's some of what we got because we showed calling opening it, but we're gonna show everything collectively. And like I said, normally we would try not to splurge this much, but it was a really good sale. I did get a few things off eBay that I had really been wanting and stocking for a long time that were finally a price that I felt comfortable paying. I wouldn't say that like all of those things are like officially for Christmas, but I thought I'd include them here. So here is Rebecca after a hair wash. And she's just absolutely lovely. This is her Hanukkah dress. It's really well made. It's very lacy. Um, the shoes are just so detailed. And um, I love like the detail over here. And her little hair bow is so cute. She just looks so beautiful in it.
I knew when I first saw this outfit that I loved it and wanted it. One of the first things I bought for myself off eBay. Actually, it was the first thing in this group we ordered. I do just man down. Was Cecile's special dress. So this is kind of like her holiday outfit equivalent. And I did make her some like accessories and things <laughs> that you'll see up close and like zoom in a bit. But I want her, wanted to have her buy the gingerbread house this year for her like annual gingerbread photo with American girls and also <coughs> it's the thumbnail for Dolly Diaries holiday edition and I didn't have this and I had been waiting a long time to find the right one. I, I mean I've been shopping for this since I got Marie Grace two years ago so we found this on eBay for about twenty dollars um, and that included the tax and the shipping which some people get just the dress for cheaper, but I didn't care about the necklace or the bows because I was going to make my own if I didn't get them. So I love it and she actually looks a lot more beautiful in this than I expected her to. It's a lot more impressive in person. So this is Cecile in her beautiful special dress. Now I decided because I got mine a little bit cheaper as it was missing the necklace and the hair bows. So the pearl necklace was easy to recreate, but because she has this cute little flower on her waistband, I decided to uh, give her green bows similar to what she had, but then to put them on a clip and to glue little white flowers that kind of matched. Uh, Rebecca's meat outfit is now off the doll. So this jacket, there's four guinea pigs who think they're getting fed. Oh my goodness, so cute. But they just ate dinner like an hour ago. Penelope is making eyes at me. Um, this is so soft and well made. And um, I love the detailed buttons. And they're like velvety waistband. It's one of the nicest pieces of her collection that I've gotten so far. And then there's this, which it kind of reminds me of Elizabeth's riding outfit, if that makes sense, because it's like got like a skirt with like a top attached. She has these nice tights. They're very soft and they're black. And I actually really love her shoes. The uh, buttons are similar but not identical to the one on her jacket. And they're wicked soft and like velvety feeling. Oh, and this is uh, her hair clip. Her accessories, so this is a necklace out of the bag. Her shawl, which is actually why I was so keen on getting the newer Be Forever accessories because it came with this really awesome shawl. The purse is really cool. It reminds me of like Samantha's old one, the book. And my favorite thing, this adorable little hat. That's really well made. Yeah, it's like wicked well made. It's like really sturdy. Um, another outfit for seal on eBay and she's actually wearing the shoes to this outfit but I got her summer dress so I have if you watched my video of opening Cecile I showed what I had for her I, I had been stockpiling clothes for her for a long time because her and Marie can share clothes so Marie was wearing them before I had Cecile but this was um, my favorite outfit they made for Cecile um, before I had my doll and it comes with this amazing bonnet that has little flowers on the inside and boots that look just like Marie Grace's meat ones. I love the bright yellow color. I think that it's just so amazing with her skin tone and her little ringlets that she looks like a little Bo Peep in this. So cute. And um, I got this for about $36 <coughs> and that included tax and shipping. And if you're wondering, like when I buy things on eBay, I try to keep in mind like what they first of all retailed for and then what a compatible outfit would retail for now. So I'm really just missing um, Marie Grace's summer outfit. That's all I'm missing from their collection besides It's the super charming. But that's like wicked expensive. Like on the cheaps, it's like $60. So this is Cecile in her summer dress. It is pretty transparent. You can see her body tag through the dress if you look closely. But because this is such a unique color and I don't know, it just looks so amazing on her. I think that the fact that this is probably the lowest quality outfit I have for Cecile Marie Grace, it's kind of easy to overlook. And the bonnet is really beautiful. It has these cute little daisies on the inside. 
And those are the boots. I think they're the exact same as Marie Grace's meat boots. This is her movie premiere dress. And uh, I just love the detailing on it. And it's really like soft on this part. And uh, very nicely crafted. The belt has detailing and it's just, it's very layered and it's pretty heavy. And uh, it came with a bow. And these really, really adorable shoes with the fleur de lis. Last thing I got on eBay, and this is actually the last thing that came in the mail, and the last thing we ordered was Addie's Sunday Best, modeled by the beautiful Aduke. Now, I really, really, really wanted this outfit. I mean, A, I like to buy all of Addie's clothes because she's not a character like Julie where they always cranked out new things for her, and this didn't even come with shoes. Like, that's how a little effort they would put into Addie's collection. Um, this came out when I wasn't collecting dolls, but it was still around, it like freshly retired about two years ago in 2017, but I remember um, when they ran the sale to get rid of these, I, it was sold out by the time I was on the website, so I'm really, I was really, really sad about that. When we went to the American Girl store um, one time, I saw her at the little table on display like at her table on display in this outfit and I fell completely in love with it and it's really well made. It's adorable. It's a great color for her. It looks especially good on a duke. I love the hat. Um, so I got this uh, for like $30 and like 50 cents on eBay with shipping and tax and all that. I just love it. It's everything I remember it being when I saw it in the store. Oh, this I love. Uh, really, really soft. This is Rebecca's winter coat. Um, it's soft. It reminds me of the way this is. reminds me of the sugar plum coat that Shelly's had since she was a kid. It's I can't believe, though, that, like, when this came out, it was $34, I think. And then they briefly retired it for a few months because they retired the original Be Forever holiday outfit that went underneath this. So when they came out with the Hanukkah dress <laughs> that you saw on Rebecca, they brought this coat back and they brought it up to like 40 or $42. The hat is just so adorable. It's like to die for, like so pretty. It comes with this adorable little muff and what I like is it has this uh, elastic so that I put it right on her hand. As I mentioned at the start of the video, we got Rebecca, her accessories, and one outfit on Cyber Monday, and that was all we were going to get. But then when they ran the sale, continued on to Cyber Tuesday, we really wanted free shipping. And so this was the second outfit I added on because the last one I'm going to show you was $2 shy of qualifying for free shipping, and I just hate paying for shipping, and like I really, really wanted um, this outfit, so I didn't mind. This is Kia's trading dress. Kyle. Um, I fell in love with this the moment it came out and the reason for it is that dad, the one outfit he ever picked me out for American Girls was uh, <laughs> Kia's white Powell dress of today I think it's called. It was from 2005 and that was for my 14th birthday and that was the last birthday I got American Girl stuff as a kid because I got too cool for them after that. And it meant a lot to me that dad picked that outfit because he wasn't like mom, like he didn't surprise me with doll stuff. He would have me pick it out or have Colleen choose. And he, she was one of the few dolls he knew who she was. So he has always been really special. So I was really excited that they came out with another white deer skin because- Especially because this is like historical, whereas the other white deer skin is like for girls of today. Yeah, um, so that made it special and the dress dad got me was really dusty because she had been wearing this when I was a teenager and not in the dolls and it had gotten dusty and it said you can, wa well, can wash these deer skins so I like soaked it for not even a half an hour and all of the like flocking peeled off and I followed the directions on the tag and it devastated me and um, I still have it and she can still wear it but it just looks shiny instead of fuzzy so I was really glad when they had this. I'll admit that when I opened it my heart kind of broke because it's really, I won't complain much but it was really disgustingly cheap like it's, it looks 
awful, not on the doll. Like, it looks like the kind of thing that you would go to Michael's and buy for a craft doll. It's that bad. Once I saw it on her, I really, she's so beautiful that, and it does so much for her that I really like it now. Um, so if you do decide to buy this, just be warned that, like, you're gonna be like, ew, why is there vinyl on her deer skin? That's not very realistic, and oh, this is really stiff and plain, and you know, there's not much detail to it, but trust me, it looks a lot better on the doll, and I'm glad I got this on sale. So we have Kia in her new deer skin. I admit that on its own off the doll, it looks really cheap. It kind of reminds me of an, a Native American costume, but on Kia, it looks amazing. I especially just love her in the color white, and I think because she's so beautiful, she kind of conceals some of the cheaper details of the outfit. I got Rebecca her nightgown, and uh, it's wicked, wicked pretty. It's got all this like lace detailing up here, and like it reminds me of uh, Samantha's Be Forever one because of like the way the ribbon Samantha's goes. Original. Yeah, that too, and it has these pretty little bows. And it's like really, really adorable, and I like these little buttons. A lot of her stuff has these kind yeah. of buttons. A hair bow, and I like how it has like a clip. These adorable matching slippers with like a ribbon just like the one on the thing. Shouldn't be a surprise, you guys all know that I got Melody this summer for an early birthday present to myself and I just about died when I saw this when they first came out with new American Girl clothes. Now this is her school outfit. It looks nautical, which I love, It's got and it's beautifully made. It's got this adorable striped shirt. So cute. This is my favorite piece. This is the dress part, which mom used to make us wear things like this when we were kids. It's like wicked cute. And it's got these amazing buttons, and all of the trim is like velvety. And then it comes with tights, which the quality of the tights isn't quite as nice as it used to be when we were kids. And I say that just because like the waistbands are kind of raw. They're not, they, they used to have like a thicker band. Yep. Um, but it doesn't really matter. And there's two red ribbons, so she can wear her hair in two ponytails. And these adorable black plain shoes. Melody has awesome shoes. They're really like versatile but cute. And this is Melody in her school outfit. Oh my gosh, it's so darling. It kind of reminds me of the sort of thing my mom would have dressed me in Colleen and when we were little. I mean, we didn't grow up in the 60s, but we wore a lot of like secondhand clothes that were very frumpy. But this is adorable. So that was everything we bought ourselves for Christmas. We're really grateful that we were able to catch that sale. And all this stuff will already most likely be pictured on my Flickr if you want to see um, pictures of it off the doll and on the doll. And until next time, love your dolls, love yourself, and love your life.